That's honestly true. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Don't even get that off right now. Hello, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome to Saturday Yoga with Junie. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Um, we'll be doing some Hatha yoga today. So if you are uh, a beginner or uh, maybe you've done yoga before, this is a good class for you. We'll have um, some beginner, you know, really ease you into it, teach you some of the basic asanas. And uh, yeah, a, a little bit of variations and alternatives for those who want a little bit more challenge as well. in the way and in this moment i realized how hard it is being a girl so here we are in um this place is called bamboo temple that's pretty dope pretty dope world we like we like this i'm not showing zach i'll, sh I'll show i'll show uh there What's hi the miku we have Miku, um, Mik Hakune, ha ha what, sorry, shit, what's her name? Oh, who? <laughs> we have Miku, Miku we have Miku herself in uh, yoga today. Everybody say hi. Uh, she'll doing a live performance oh, afterward. <laughs> Why does your voice Hello. go deeper? <laughs> Is that not what she sounds like? Uh, you need to be a little more vocaloid, I think. A little more vocaloid on that one. My whole life trying to be a little more vocal. All right, I'm super ready. Like, I feel like I need this right now really bad. So, what are you guys feeling? Ready? Do it. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, start, start in crow pose. Um, no, no. This is a very much a be um chill, chiller. We we got beginners yoga today. Pra basic asanas. You know, still going to be challenging, though. I promise you. In a good way. But we will start today in child's pose. So, coming onto our mat here. Separating your knees wide. Bring your big, big toes together to touch. Stretching your hips back and down. Reach your arms overhead and relax your forehead into the mat. You can gently press the hands forward, feeling your hips stretch. As we begin to arrive, starting to focus on deepening our breaths, lengthening each inhale and each exhale. Taking a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just continue taking our deep breaths here. Whatever thoughts that might come to us, you can acknowledge them, but then float them away. Tabletop, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You drop your controllers here. We'll do a calf stretch. So inhale, extend the right leg out long. 
Pre uh, pressing firmly through the back a heel, kind of digging your the balls of your feet and your toes into the mat. Staying supported in your shoulders as you move your hips back, move the heel back, and stretch. Keep on taking those deep inhales, deep exhales. And then exhale, lowering the knee to the mat, and we'll turn back to tabletop. Doing the other side, inhale, left leg out back behind, toes on the mat. You can breathe out and press that heel back, feeling that stretch in your calf. Exhale, come back to tabletop. So spreading your fingers out wide here. Keeping the hands underneath your shoulders. And the knees underneath the hips. Tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lifting your hips up and back. Rooting down through your palms, spreading your fingers out wide, and clutching your mat with the tips of your fingers like you're trying to claw it. Relax your shoulders away from your, your ears, bringing them back down along your back. Tailbone up high to the sky. Softening your ankles to the mats, chest coming in towards your thighs. Inhale, right foot up and back for three-legged dog. Keep the foot pointing down and keep that right hip down as well. You're going to feel a stretch in your left hamstring here. Exhale, step forward in between your hands for low lunge. And half Hanuman, half splits. Exhale, dropping the back knee down, pulling our hips back to straighten the front leg. So straight leg here. I may not look at it, but my leg is right here. A big breath in, straightening our back. <laughs> Exhale, folding over the front leg, bringing our chest towards our thigh. You can let your head hang here. Toes pointing up towards the sky. And release. Exhale, low lunge. Crescent lunge. You can put the back knee back down. Now sweep the arms up high, biceps framing the ears. Top of your foot flat to the mat, no tucked toes here. And exhale, coming back to low lunge, lifting up the back knee, and then take a big inhale here, muster up your strength, activate your core, and sweep your arms up high lunge. Keeping the knee over the ankle or a little bit behind. Straightening the back knee. And you're up on the ball of your back foot here. And then exhale, warrior two. Sealing the back heel down. Toes pointing to the long edge of your mat. And then deep bend in the front knee. Stacking it over the ankle. and then bringing it over to the right. <sighs> Taking our gaze out uh, along our right arm, right hand. <sighs> Keep 
Keep those shoulders down, away from your ears. Inhale, peaceful warrior, keeping your legs in the same position. Sweep the right arms to the sky, left arm sliding down your back leg. And exhale, coming forward, extended side angle, right elbow on your right thigh, and then left arm to the sky, bringing it up towards your ear, recruiting one long line from your fingertips all the way to your left foot. If you want a little more spice in your practice today, you can choose to raise this lower arm to frame your head. Rotating your chest to the sky. Feeling the heat build. Rotating the chest. Inhale, peaceful warrior, keeping the knee in the same position. And exhale, triangle pose. Straighten your front leg, and then reach your right hand towards the front of the room. Keep reaching as far as you can go. And then once you reach your limit, keeping your legs and torso in the same position, the right hand goes on your quad, shin, or the floor, and then left arm up to the sky. Straightening that spine, lengthening the spine towards the front of your room. We're grounding down and pulling back with the front foot. We're not moving it, but we're kind of actively thinking about pulling it back towards our back leg. And inhale, peaceful warrior, bend the front knee. Right hand flips back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down. Frame your front foot. Gauge your core here, take a deep breath in. Drop your controllers, spread your fingers out and step back to down dog. Left foot up and back for three-legged dog. Again, toe pointing towards the ground, left hip towards the ground. Low lunge, step forward in between your hands. Exhale, half Hanuman, half splits. So dropping the back knee, untuck the toe, and then drop your hips back, pointing your toe, your front toe to the sky. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding over our straight front leg. Doesn't have to be completely straight. You're allowed to have a bit of a bend as well. Whatever is comfortable for you. Exhale, returning back to low lunge. Coming into crescent lunge, we're going to drop that back knee again and sweep our arms up high overhead. Top of your foot touching the mat on the back leg. And last big breath in here. Exhale, low lunge, hands back down to the mat. And taking a big breath, activating the core, sweep up for high lunge. Getting that knee over the front ankle. Exhale, seal the back foot down for warrior two. Arms out to a T. And deepen the bend in the front knee.
Keep stretching through the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And inhale, peaceful warrior. Left palm to the sky. Right arm back, sliding down the back leg. Keep that front leg bent. You're trying to get that knee over the ankle. And exhale, extended side angle. Legs in the same place. Left elbow to left thigh. Right arm to the sky, making that straight line. If you want a little more spice, choose to raise up that lower arm. Rotating your chest to the sky. Big breath in, not letting our breath escape us here. Keeping them elongated. Deep in the lunge one last time, exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Left arm to sky, one breath in. Exhale, triangle, straighten the front leg. Then left hand out in front. Keep on reaching until you can't reach anymore. Then without moving your legs or your torso. Left hand down onto your leg. Right hand to the sky. Lengthening our spine here. Inhale. Rounding the front foot down. Pulling it back. Exhale. Keep those deep, full breaths. Inhale, bend the front knee, peaceful warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Pushing through your hands here, engage your core, dropping your controllers, hands spread out. Step back, down dog. And then we'll walk our feet to the top of the mat. Coming into chair pose, keep your feet together, bend your knees, and sweep your arms up, hips back and down. Shifting the weight back into your heels. Feeling that heat build up in our thighs. Turning your palms to face each other or to face the sky. Exhale, bring your hands into heart center. <sighs> Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, revolve chair, rotating your torso to the right, left tricep to thigh. Gaze goes over the right shoulder. Pushing our palms firmly together Find more length and more twist. On each exhale, you're focusing on twisting a little more. On each inhale, getting long through your spine. Release, forward fold. Draping your torso over the legs and you can relax your head. Feel like you can sway your hips from side to side. Slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming up to Tadasana, mountain pose. Circle sweep arms to sky. Arms tall, shoulders down your back. Soften your knees, spill forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straightening your back, firming your hands into your shins or the floor. And left foot back, a lunge. So pyramid pose, we're gonna shorten our stance a little bit. Step up, 
Might be able to widen it a little bit too if that feels better. And then once your feet are set, straightening our back, lengthening our torso forward like a halfway lift. Crown goes towards the front of the room. Exhale, folding over the front leg, feeling a deep stretch in our hamstring. You're allowed to bend your knee here, trying to get that chest in towards your thigh. Kind of looking to connect your, your belly to your thigh, and if you need to do that, you're allowed to bend your knee to do so. Just relaxing, letting the head hang. Take a few breaths here. Coming back to low lunge. Back foot steps back, front knee bends. Crescent lunge, lowering the back knee down, and then circle sweep up high. Then from here, we'll find one-legged camel. So slowly leaning back, leaning your hips back, your head back. And you can take your right arm, sweeping it back behind you. If you need a little bit of support, you can use your left hand, putting it on your butt like back pockets. Or maybe you can drop it down towards your, th your leg or the floor. And slowly rise back up. Coming back up, a low lunge. Inhale, star pose. Rotating our feet in so their toes are facing the long edge of our mat. Sweeping our arms up high. And then exhale, hinging at the hips for a wide-legged fold. Bringing your entire torso down, legs straight. You can have a bit of a micro bend here in your knees. And inhale, halfway lift to straighten your spine. Exhale, folding deeper. Take a few breaths here. Low lunge, bend the knee, turning towards the front of our mat. Take a deep breath in, gaze in, uh, gaze forward. Step forward and forward fold. Inhale, chair, dropping the hips back and down and sweep the arms up. And then drawing the hands to heart center. You, you're holding controllers, you're pushing your fingertips together. And exhale, revolve chair. Right elbow to left tricep, or right, right tricep to left thigh. So, so that's the one, that's the one. Every exhale. Pushing our hands together, twist deeper in every inhale, straightening our spine, bring our crown forward. Forward fold, slowly unwind, fold forward. Just be heavy.
Inhale, slowly coming up to Tadasana. Circle sweep arms to sky. Exhale, spill forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, low lunge. The pyramid pose on this side. We're shortening our stance, stepping the back foot up a little bit. You can widen it too. Straighten the front leg and halfway lift the torso forward. And then exhale, folding over the front leg. Check again that your belly and your thigh are making contact, and if not, you can bend the front leg until they do. And then if you make it there, start to straighten your leg to intensify the stretch. Just releasing your head, letting your torso be heavy. Low lunge, bending the front leg, step the back foot back, crescent lunge, knee down, tuck, untuck your toes, and breathe in, sweeping the chest up with the arms. And then exhale, we're finding one-legged camel, a right arm back and down. Left arm up to sky. You're moving the left shoulder back with the left hip. Kind of thinking up and back on this one. And slowly raising up. Try to not fall, like me. Back to low lunge. And star pose, pivoting the toes in. Inhale, stretch up high. Hands to high prayer. Exhale, hinging at the hips for a wide-legged fold. Bringing your hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, crown forward. Exhale, spilling the torso forward. Take a few breaths here. Just be heavy. Each exhale, going a little bit deeper. Low lunge, bend to the left knee, face towards the front of your mat. Raise up the back leg. Gaze to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Slowly rolling up to Tadasana. And warrior three, inhale. Draw the hands to heart center. Shift the weight into your right foot, left toes off the mat, bring your knee up, and slowly extending your leg out back behind, palms together, breathe in, engaging the muscles here. 
You can square your chest to the mat, toes facing down. Engaging the muscles in your back like cobra. And release Tadasana. Very good job. Good stuff, good stuff. And then warrior three on the other side, inhale. Weight into the left foot. Hands to heart center, flex your foot up. And then firming the palms in. Exhale, right leg back, torso forward. Cobra in the chest. Use that glute to drive up the back leg. Try and square those hips to the mat. Exhale, release. Tadasana. Nice. Circle sweep arms to the sky, Urdhva Sasana. Exhale, spill forward. Inhale, you're gonna lift halfway up. And then exhale, stepping back to down dog. That's good, that's a good, that's a good down dog. Lower your knees down, make our way onto our backs. <laughs> Figure forward bridge, cross the right ankle over your left thigh. Align those knees over the ankle, and then press the left foot and lift up the hips. Soften the left hip down here. Finding lift through your chest. If you like, you can drop your controllers and interlace your hands underneath you for a little more, more oomph, more, more uh, height in your chest. Slowly rolling down. Back to supine, bent knees. So on your back, knees pointing towards the sky. We'll do the other side. Crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. And then with the right knee stacks over the, over the ankle, breathing in, pressing down to drive the hips up. Opening that head up, hip up. You might be able to wiggle your shoulders underneath you and interlace your hands for a little more height in your chest. <laughs> Raising your hips up a little bit higher. Activating them glutes and slowly lower down. More butt, more butt stuff, okay? Bridge pose. Separating on our feet, hip width distance apart. Knees under ankles, or, or ankles under knees. <laughs> then raising your hips up. Squeeze your butt cheeks together. Activate your legs by squeezing those together. Maybe interlace your hands underneath you for a little more height in your chest. Take a deep breath here. Raise up those hips a little higher, the highest you can go. And then exhale, let the hands go wide and slowly bring the hips back down to the mat. Take your feet a little bit wider than the mat here. 
We'll just use some windshield wipers. So just move, stretching your knees from side to side. Loosening up the hips. And coming back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees out wide for a reclined butterfly or supine bound angle. Then bring in your legs up again. Coming up for happy baby. Grab hold of your feet. Putting your knees out wider than your rib cage, flattening your back flat against the mat. Taking a breath in here. Pulling down on the legs. You might feel an opening in your hips here. few more breaths here. And release. Wrapping your arms around your knees. Give yourself a big hug. Very good job today. One long inhale. Tell yourself you are amazing. You're awesome. Capable. And then exhale. Shavasana. Legs out long. Arms out wide. Turning the palms up. And just be still. To deepen your breath, reawakening the body. Thank you so, so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Namaste.